and happy Sundance 2017. We're at the Eccles Theater. This is the red carpet for Rebel in the Ride. Well, I'm really excited to um, see it with this audience because uh, I just finished it about a month ago and only about 10 people have seen the final version of the movie. So this audience night is going to be the first time an audience has ever seen the film. So it's very exciting and very nerve-wracking, but we're all in it together. I play Blythe Chaucer, who is Una O'Neill's best friend, who does not approve of her love of Salinger. <laughs> and it was really fun just going back and reading nine stories, and I really kind of based the character on one of uh, Salinger's short stories for Esme, um, of the little girl, um, and also just reading, uh, you know, all about Una O'Neill and who she was and the people she associated with, and tried to make an amalgamation of her girlfriends to create this one woman who kind of stood by her. You know, I think every film is a challenge, you know, just to bring it to life and bring it to the screen, but we had a really amazing group of filmmakers, um, Bruce Cohen, Jason Schumann, um, who produced the film with us, and then, of course, Danny Strong with his directorial debut, so, um, you know, it's always hard to do a period film and, and tell a story in a fresh and exciting way, and I think Danny's done that here. Well, the movie's about an author, and I think one of the things that makes that challenging is that there's all these scenes, like, if it were a sports movie, right, you'd see uh, your main character running or boxing or hitting a baseball and all these great visual things, right? But this character, Jerry Salinger, is just typing. He's at a typewriter. So I think that the music needed to do more. The music needed to tell you what is going on in his mind, what, it, what his inspiration is at, you know, where, where his creativity is. And for me, that's an incredible opportunity to be involved in this story. Uh, the movie is uh, called Rebel in the Rhyme. It's about J.D. Salinger writing uh, Catcher in the Rhyme. It's about his life, essentially. Uh, what I enjoyed most about the character was learning about his life. I didn't know much about it before we started the movie. Um, Danny Strong wrote a wonderful script. And, and it was just a pleasure to play someone who is so creative, who changed so much and experienced so much in his life, um, and, and to learn about him more. It was a true pleasure. One of the, the elements of the story and the character that really spoke to me and also in Catcher in the Rye is the sense of um, loneliness that everybody feels. I think that's one of the things people really connect to with Holden Caulfield is how alone he feels and I think everybody feels that way. <laughs> it's a universal sort of um, thing. So, well, Tell me about working with uh, Nicholas Holt and Kevin Spacey. I actually just met Kevin Spacey for the first time and I like nerded out and it was, I tried to take deep breaths, deep breaths, um, but working with Nick is amazing, he's so talented, obviously, and then on top of that he's really nice and you're like, oh my god, there's got to be something wrong with you, and there isn't, he's a great guy.